Welcome to Making It, Artists and Stories. I'm Stacey T. from Stacey T.'s Treasures. Today I'm here with Lauren Page, author of the Light Sprites children's book series. Hi, Lauren. How are Hi. you? Hi. I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Well, we have in front of us two of your books. Why don't you tell us how you got started? What made you decide to write a book? When I was younger, I used to think that little people actually worked in the traffic lights. That stuck with me as I got older. Now, who told you that? No one told me it. You just thought that? I yeah, know. I was just, I was a little kid, and yeah. I'd be driving around with my parents, and I just thought, oh, maybe little people are directing, <laughs> you know, what light changes when and things like that. That's awesome. And then... As I got older, it kind of stuck with me, and okay. in my teenage years, I started making like a little storyline, um, and I would, you know, leave it for a while, come back, and then um, that's when I was in my college years, I actually chose to make it into a little book. It was kind of a bucket list item. Okay. Um, I, I never really set out to be an author, per se. I just wanted this little story that I turned into a Christmas story on paper. I wanted I it to become a, a real thing. Well, that's what I was going to ask. When you were in high school or in college, did you take any type of writing courses? Was it always a thing for you? Did you always enjoy writing? I guess to a certain extent, but I never really set out to be an, to author. Be an author. However, I did major in early childhood education when I was okay. in college. So, so there's a relation to the children's book. and Right. So I do have that background uh, working with children. I've okay. done a lot of nannying and working in daycare and things like that. Um, so I have that to go along with why it's a children's book, okay. but it was really just something that stuck with me from when I was young, and then I created a Christmas story out of it. Oh, so it started with a Christmas story. It started with the idea that little people work in the traffic lights. Okay. So I made it into a Christmas so story. your first book was um, a holiday one. Yes. And that's this one here. Yes. The light sprites, no other phrase but that, whereas the next one is a uh, subtitle, I Correct, say. correct. So the first one is the light sprites. At this point in time, uh, I was just coming out with this one. Again, it was kind of something I just really wanted to do, and so I okay. self-published it. So it was out there, and then once... I started doing more vendor events and craft fairs and things like that. People started asking me, well, when is your second one coming out? Are you making a second one? What's it about? And you hadn't originally planned to. I hadn't. But then the wheels started turning. Yeah. And I was like, well, why can't I? I went and I made an Easter version of the Light Sprites, and that's the Light Sprites Spring Into Action. Okay. Basically, it's taking them through what they do to help the Easter Bunny um, when they're not helping Santa oh, okay. in the traffic cute, light very direct, cute. direct the way. Uh, tell me about publishing. How does one go from sitting at home and jotting down ideas and, and thoughts and, and all that go from that to actually getting a book published? Well, I went through a self-publishing company instead of going the whole traditional route of having like a major publishing house publish okay. my book. So it was a lot simpler and more affordable to do it that way. So I went online and I found a self-publishing website called Create Space. Okay. And this was actually the website that my cousin had used to self-publish his book as well. So I kind of had an idea of so what you they, were a little familiar with it. Right, how they were to work with, things like yeah. that. And so I figured, okay, well, I'm going to look into that one, use it too. And it was a fairly simple process. Um, and you, you go through the whole steps of what size do you want the book? Do you want it shiny or matte? And uploading the, the oh, documents. Oh, so you're pretty much building the whole thing yourself. Pretty much with a lot of help from the illustrator. I do have to say the illustrator really helps with that part. They really make the documents how they have to be to be uploaded to okay. uh, the website because I'm not savvy in that way gotcha, at all. Gotcha. So they're really helpful with that. Now the illustrators, uh, it, that's got to be an important aspect of it because you have a vision in your head and they have to put that on paper. Mm -hmm. Did it, does it take a lot of trial and error? Is there a lot of, like, they bring you something and you're like, no, that's not what I'm looking at. That's not what I want. Or has it been very easy where they've been able to make it come to life for you? Working with the illustrators, it's very hand-in-hand. Hand. Um, you know, we work together to bring that vision to life. I will have a certain 
image in my head of how I want it to look. They can make that a reality with their talent. We work together to make that happen. I did get a different illustrator for the second book and so she was able to put her own spin on it. So the illustrations do look a little bit different from book one to book two. Okay. It's still the core of the light sprite. So there's a little little nuances that are maybe a little different but the the premise is still the same and the colors and Correct. and that type of thing. Yeah. Okay. And how long did it take you to write not not publish and illustrate, but the writing part. How long did it take you to do your first one? Well, the first one, I started with the story ideas when I was a teenager, okay. like an early teenager. Yeah. And then it had gotten published in 2014, and I was, I think, 21 when I got that published, so probably like eight years or so. But that's not like a continual. <laughs> that wasn't no. you sitting there every day hammering out this book right. and coming up with, you know, it was kind of just coming to it and going away and coming back type of thing. Right, correct. So that one was a little unconventional. That wasn't like yeah. I'm just sitting down yeah. trying to write. <laughs> the second one, though, that actually came fairly quickly to me. That because one, you had a vision, probably. You, I you did. You already had the one out there, so now you knew you wanted where you wanted to go, right, what direction. Exactly. I was like, all right, well, this is the theme I want to go with. This is what I want them to accomplish in the story, so let's start making that happen. Okay. Um, and then I kind of break it down. And I just, at first I write and it's just this long document and then I'll break it down into little, I guess, paragraphs you'd call it, but really it's just separation so that I know what illustration I want on each okay. uh, page to be and how many pages yep. it's going to be. It didn't take long at all for the second one. Yeah, they're both about the same length, I'm assuming, kind of yes. keeping two of the same theme. Yep. What's the age group do you recommend for this, this book? If they want to read it themselves, I would say kindergarten and up. They'll start to be able to read it themselves in the kindergarten age with some help. And then as they get older, they can read it uh, more and more themselves. But, of course, you can read it to younger as well. And they understand it. And yeah. It's fun, I imagine. Yeah. Do you see more? I mean, this this is this the beginning of this amazing series that you're going to keep coming out with new ones? Or, or do you see this is it? I mean, where do you see this? I think now I see it as I have a Christmas one, I have an Easter one. I want to make this a four-book series okay. so that it goes from Christmas to Easter and then a summer holiday and a fall holiday. Oh, okay. So I don't know yet which holidays I'll choose, uh, but I think in the end I'll make it a nice four-book series that takes them through the year and how they you know, work through the year and help others uh, when they're not in the traffic light helping Santa. So a four-book series. So then after that's done... You know, you've gotten four out. You got you got the four seasons you wanted. Do you ever see more books? Different? Maybe not a children's book. Maybe uh, an adult novel or. So it's funny you actually bring that up because I have experience in makeup as well, and okay. I am currently in the process of possibly putting a kind of guide oriented book together really? um, in that realm. Uh, it's very. Early in the process, uh, but I'm hoping that that will become a reality soon. Yeah, like a how-to type, like instructional type book you're talking? Or? In a sense, or just kind of, yeah, I guess, how-to. I'll leave it at that. It's, okay, it's, it's okay. It's very early in the process. It's a bit of a I surprise. Get it, yeah. yeah, so I'm kind of in the process of that. So that's definitely different than this, but it still ties in with my life, and it's something that I'm very excited to Excellent. come out with. Now, this is what you do for your creative side. I'm assuming this is not your full-time career. This is something you do on the side. Do you ever hope to be able to just turn it into, focus all your energies all the time on, on writing? Do you ever see that happening for you? Not at this point. It's actually just kind of more of that passionate side project for me. It's not something that I'd want to create into this full-time business, okay. but um, I'm just having a lot of fun doing it. Well, that's important. Yeah. Thank you, Lauren. This has been a learning experience for me. Um, I've always enjoyed writing myself, and, and I find it very fascinating when somebody's able to take that and, and produce a book out of it. So I look forward to seeing the next two come out. Um, however long it takes you, I will definitely be checking them out, and I wish you much success. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody, for watching Making It Artisan Stories. Be sure to tune in again next time. And remember, when you shop small, you're supporting your dreams.